guys, welcome back. So today on World Music, we're going to talk about some composers from America that were very influential and wrote music that is still played and listened to even today. Now, um, American composers are generally thought of as more modern because America is relatively new in the world, um, in regards to music at least. So the first composer we're going to talk about today is George Gershwin. So George Gershwin was born in Brooklyn, New York, and he taught himself how to play the piano by going to a friend's house. And they had one of those pianos that actually plays for you, so the keys would press down while it was playing a song. He actually taught himself how to play by following the way the keys moved up and down. So that he shocked everybody in his house when they finally got a piano, and he knew a whole bunch of songs without anyone having ever taught him. He was not just a classical composer, but also he wrote popular music as well. He wrote one of the most influential American operas of his time, Porgy and Bess, at the same time that he wrote Rhapsody in Blue. Rhapsody in Blue is well known, and the video that's attached to here, Rhapsody in Blue from Fantasia 2000, expresses that. It has a mixture of jazz and color and beautiful lyricism, as well as technical fingers. So take a look at that when you get a second, because it is an absolutely beautiful piece. And Disney does a great job of putting visuals, meaning pictures, together with the music to not just let you hear it, but to see it and feel it. Probably the most well-known American composer of our time is named John Williams. John Williams, you know him without even knowing that you know him. John Williams was born in the United States in Floral Park, New York. And in 1984, he moved with his family to Los Angeles, California. He later attended college and started studying music composition, which means writing music. Later on, he was actually drafted into the United States Air Force and conducted and composed music for the Air Force Band. After he was discharged from the military, he actually went on to go to Juilliard Music College, which is one of the most well-known music colleges in the United States. After he finished at Juilliard, he did something absolutely amazing. He went back to Los Angeles, California and started writing movie scores music for movies, the things that you hear while you're watching the movies. It's amazing. And he's one of our most prolific American composers of our time. He's still alive today, still writing, still composing, still conducting his own ensembles. The movie that marked the beginning of his career was Lost in Space. It's an older movie that you probably don't know, but your parents definitely know. So that was the beginning of his career. And after that, he spent decades writing music that would become influential and that we still play today. So I'm going to play you two themes from John Williams movies. Here's the first one. We all know what that is. That's the theme for Jaws, the movie with the gigantic shark that goes around terrorizing people. That in and of itself is so influ influential. Everyone knows that piece of music just by the first two notes. All right, here's the second one. Let's see if you can figure out which movie this one's from. If you guessed Indiana Jones, you're absolutely correct. John Williams didn't just write Jaws and Indiana Jones either. He wrote Star Wars. That's right, the theme that we all know and love, the Imperial March, is from John Williams. Obviously, John Williams is so popular and so well known that you don't even know his name, but you know who he is. Other pieces of music that he's written for other movies, Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, Home Alone, E.T., and Superman. So, I've added a couple of videos down below for you to listen to at your leisure. The first one is Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin from Disney's Fantasia 2000. And the other one is John Williams himself conducting an ensemble that is playing the Imperial March. And you'll want to watch because there's a little bit of a surprise at the end. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson of world music. Next week, we're going to talk about female American composers, and I'm really excited because these uh, women are often not thought of when we talk about composers, and but their music is absolutely gorgeous. So I hope to see you then. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Bye.